How's it going, you guys? AZ Plyo 21 back again with another pay per view here in our UFC save and WMMA 5, and it is UFC 286 Jones versus Q Chalaba. It's going to be a good one here today. Two title fights in this pay per view from Florida. Montana De La Rosa defending the flyweight championship against Valerie Lareda. And John Jones defending the light heavyweight championship against Eon Kuchalaba. It should be a good one. Also got Tai Tuivasa taking on Rumble Johnson. Paulo Costa taking on Rafael Lovato Jr. And Ray Borg taking on Dominic Cruz. All very important fights in their respective divisions. You can see the prelims there. Should be a good one here today. Let's go ahead and get into it. The next pay-per-view after this one will be UFC 287. Luque versus Thompson 2. Three title fights on that card in Las Vegas. Rose Namajunas uh, taking on Carla Esparza for the strawweight title. Max Holloway taking on Brian Ortega for the featherweight title. And then Wonderboy Thompson fighting Vicente Luque for the welterweight title of the world. Should be a good one. But today it's all about Jones versus Q Chalaba. Let's go ahead and get into it. I'm AZ Plow 21. As always, I thank you guys. Be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel. And follow me on Twitch or Twitter so you can catch up with all my streams or get to know me a little bit better. Let's go and get into it. The first prelim, Frankie the Answer Edgar taking on Chase Hooper. Chase Hooper, 14-0-1, undefeated in the UFC. Takes on Frankie Edgar, 18-13-1, coming off a win over Hunter Asia in WEC. And Chase Hooper knocks out Frankie Edgar in round number two so i it might be it for frankie edgar he could call it quits any day now because uh, i'm not sure we're really going to keep him that much longer chase hooper a big win over frankie edgar tj dillashaw taking on geraldo de freitas in the bantamweight division it's been an absolute terrible time for tj dillashaw after he came back from that EPO incident, Defreitas on a four-fight winning streak, including winning in his UFC re-entry. Dillashaw, number 18 in the division. I mean, look at this. One, two, three, four, five fights in a row that he's lost. All to very good competition, keep in mind. Small favorite against Defreitas. And TJ Dillashaw gets a TKO victory over Geraldo Defreitas in round number two. Welcome back, TJ Dillashaw, at 36 years of age. James Jenkins taking on Juan Archuleta in the featherweight division. Jenkins, 14-2, 2-0 in his UFC career. Juan Archuleta, 1-1 one one after being a very good fighter over in Bellator. And the Bellator former champion gets a knockout victory over James Jenkins in round number two with five seconds left to go. Deanna Bennett taking on Tiffany No Chill Tio in the 125 division. A very interesting one, Tio. Three and one here in the UFC after winning the one championship. Deanna Bennett, one, one, and one exactly. And it's Deanna Bennett getting a TKO victory over Tiffany Tio. Interestingly enough, and Bennett retires right after. Okay, <laughs> interesting. Uh, Reginaldo Vieira taking on Joe Ash, Honey Badger Watkins. He missed weight, Watkins, so he might. I mean, we're probably going to end up cutting him if he loses, but if he wins, we're probably going to send him up to the 145 division. And Vieira, 1-5 in the UFC. He's having a terrible time himself. So basically, whoever loses is out of a job. Reginaldo Vieira beats Honey Badger Watkins via rear naked choke in round number three. Uh, Watkins, we're going to have to say goodbye to you. And Vieira wants to fight Umar Nurmagomedov. Marlon Vera... <clears throat> Cheeto Vera taking on Brett the Pikey Johns in the 135 division. Cheeto Vera not having a good time in this save at all. One, two, three, four, five straight losses to his record. Uh, basically fighting for his job here today against Brett the Pikey Johns, who is also fighting for his job here today. Uh, basically, who losers getting sent down. They're really both should be in WBC. Uh, but Brett the Pikey Johns will live to see another day. After beating Marlon Vera. Marlon Vera, welcome to WBC. Uh, Jack Shore, who just got a big win in real life. Coming, uh, I forgot who was over, but he's uh, facing off with Capcom Corey Tate. 1-0 in the UFC. And Jack Shore gets a win via a Kimura in round number three. He's now 4-1-1 one, one 
in his UFC career. Congratulations to Jack the Tank Short. Mauro Mastro Marini taking on dangerous Davy Grant. Davy Grant 12 and 6. Mastro Marini 11 and 2. And it's Davy Grant getting a submission victory over Mauro Mastro Marini. Congratulations to Davy. Uh, Yuri Alcantara taking on Odie Osborne. Osborne is uh, coming off a loss over Henry Cejudo. Yeah. Last minute replacement after getting a three fight win streak. Takes on Yuri Alcantara, 42-year-old veteran, coming uh, off of four out of his last five fights being losses. And it's Odie Osborne getting the unanimous decision victory. So very good experience after fighting Henry Cejudo. And Alcantara retires after this loss here today. Rob Font taking on Su Chul Kim in our last prelim. Font, Su Chul Kim, both very good bantamweights. But it is Su Chul Kim getting the TKO in round number one here today improves to five and one here in the ufc hopefully he is ranked you would hope first main card fight everyone has already given me their 30 dollars 60 dollars whatever it is you purchased it for dominic cruz taking on ray borg and what is essentially a title eliminator for the bantamweight division should be a pretty good one I kind of hope Dominic Cruz wins because I would love to see him fight for the title again. I think it'd be awesome. And it is Dominic Cruz who will fight for the Bantamweight Championship next after beating Ray Borg via unanimous decision. You'd love to see it. And he's tolling out Corey Sanhagen. Love it. But Apollo Costa taking on Rafael Lovato Jr. Lovato Jr. is coming off fighting for the uh, middleweight championship against Darren Till. On the other side, you have Paulo Costa, who is coming off a win over Chris Weidman. Before that, lost to Elias Theodoru. If Costa wins, he's fighting for the title. And it is Paulo Costa who TKOs Rafael Lovato Jr. in just 28 seconds. That's all it took. Paulo Costa is now fighting for the middleweight championship of the world uh, against Darren Till sometime in the near future. So congrats to him. Rafael Lovato Jr. loses for only the second time in his career. Ty Bam Bam Tuivasa taking on Anthony Rumble Johnson in a very important heavyweight fight. Rumble, number four in the division. Two straight wins. Dos Santos and Blades. Tuivasa, number three in the division. Two straight wins. Rosenstrike and Volkov. This could be a good one. This could also be a heavyweight title eliminator. Very important fight. I feel like Rumble Johnson will win, but Tuivasa is weird in this game for some reason. Ty Bam Bam Tuivasa knocks out Anthony Rumble Johnson with a knee in round number one. And he is probably going to be next in line after Cain Velasquez for John Jones in the heavyweight division. Wow. He's calling him out right now. After winning that fight, John Jones, I know you're the heavyweight champion. Terrible Australian accent. Montana De La Rosa in the co-main event, defending her flyweight championship against a surging Valerie Lareda. De La Rosa. Look at this. After losing to Jillian Robertson, Vanessa Porto, Caitlin Chukagian, Macy Barber, Beat Valentina Shevchenko twice and then defended it against Caitlin Chukagian. You love to see it. She's been on a Jones card two times already for the title. Against Valerie Lareda. 4 0 in the UFC. Quick work out of Agnieszka Niedźwiedź, Viviana Raujo, Andrea Lee, and then Valentina Shevchenko. Pretty good resume. It is a close fight on paper as we begin our co-main event of the evening for the women's flyweight title. Dan Mergliata, your referee. This should be interesting. Uh, Lareda in front of her hometown crowd. I'd imagine De La Rosa is going to want to take her down. <coughs> De La Rosa clinching. Pins Lareda to the cage, trying to take her down. Lareda blocks it, tries to leg sweep her, and she gets her. Oh boy. 
If she just keeps grappling with her, it could be a long night for Lareda. Can't connect properly. Knee strike to the ribs. She's just going to control her on the ground for the entire first round. So De La Rosa wins round one. A weak flick of a jab. Roundhouse kick to the body. De La Rosa collapses in agony. She can't continue. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata calls a stop to this contest at 44 seconds into round number two, declaring the winner by TKO and new undisputed UFC flyweight champion of the world, Valerie Lareda. Interesting. The sky's the limit for her. She's only 24 years old, 12 and 0, already the champion. Sky's the limit for her. She is going to be very, very popular. As we move to our main event of the evening, John Bones Jones taking on Eon Kuchalaba in the light heavyweight division for the light heavyweight championship. Kuchalaba, very good, impressive resume behind him. One, two, three, four, five. Six straight wins <coughs> for him. Alexa Chuck, Alvi, Rockich, Smith, Prohashka, and then Narcoon. On the other side is my Alexa's going dumb. Uh, but I mean, John Jones, you know who John Jones is. My Alexa's being really dumb right now. Alexa, stop. Sorry about that. Anyways, John Jones, one of the best fighters of all time. Uh, coming off the win over Nganu, Shogun Hua, Curtis Blades, Dominic Reyes, Francis Nganu, Jan Blachowicz. This guy's uh, amazing, basically. Uh, I mean, what else can you really say? Small favorite over Kuchalaba. Crazier things have happened. I kind of want someone to beat Jones just so that way there's continuation, you know, of the divisions. It's for the light heavyweight championship of the world. Josh Rosenthal is your referee as this main event is underway as I nearly tear down part of my PC. Oh my God, that was scary. Lands a big right hand. Cute Chalaba pressuring Jones. Cross can't land hard. Uh, nothing landing that's that damaging for either fighter. Can't land a significant shot. Avoids a big right, sets it up well. Nothing going on. First round takedown attempt for Jones. He gets it. Gets caught in the guard. Nothing down. Nothing too much as round one apparently goes to Jones. Nothing too exciting, but he did get that takedown at the end of it. Jones talking some trash to Kuchalaba. Misses with a low kick. Nice straight right from Kuchalaba. Could this be the upset of the century? Kuchalaba trying to win the light heavyweight championship with no fight team against John Bones Jones. Jones pressing him up against the cage. Can't do it. Uh-oh, a suplex. He has suplex. Suplex is John Jones. Round two comes to an end, and it might have gone to Kuchalaba. Wow. Jones hits him with a straight right. Kuchalaba hits two left hands. Kuchalaba starting to get tired in round three. That is not good. Jones fools Kuchalaba. Straight right lands hard. Moves into the pocket. Kuchalaba looking to strike. Jones fires off a counter jab. Jones evades a right. Can't get a leg kick, John Jones. Exchange of strikes doesn't go anywhere. All of a sudden, very exciting fight after Kuchalaba apparently wins round two. Trying to muscle him up against the cage now. Dominant position. Under a minute left to go in the round. Again, trying to go for a suplex. He can't get it. Again, looking for a suplex. No. 
trying to get him in a Muay Thai clinch. He gets caught in a Muay Thai. Brutal elbow. Kuchalaba goes to the ground cold. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Josh Rosenthal calls a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 57 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, John Bones Jones. So Q Chalaba put up a good fight, but John Jones is John Jones. 27 million made off of pay-per-view, 23,000 in attendance. Pretty good fight card, if I do say so. A new flyweight champion in Valerie Lareda and John Jones. Still the king of the light heavyweights, much to the chagrin of everyone else. A good fight overall. We're going to give that fight of the night. Paulo Costa, Rob Smith. Thank you for the subscription, my man. Hope you guys are having a good one. Uh, Valley Lareda. Uh, we're going to give Paulo Costa performance bonus. Uh, go back down. Uh, Chase Hooper performance bonus after beating Frankie Edgar. $31 million in profit. Highest paid fighters, John Jones, Dominic Cruz, Paulo Costa, Rumble Johnson. Hope you guys are having a good one. I'm AZPlow21. As always, we're going to update our rankings, take a look, and see what is next before we end this episode. Very excited that I'll be able to uh, attend UFC 261 this upcoming weekend as I'm recording this. Usman and Masvidal. I'll probably be uh, taking a little bit of uh, video footage of that for you. A little bit of a vlog. Very exciting. Very excited for that. But uh, as always, thank you guys for watching. Uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys are thinking about the save. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe. So that way you uh, obviously have more access to my videos. Go ahead and go over to my Twitch channel as well. Follow me on that so you can watch the live streams whenever I'm recording content. Should be a good one, Usman and Masvidal. I really don't see a way that Masvidal wins without him knocking out Usman, and I don't think he's going to. I think Usman's a little bit too smart. But again, crazier things have happened, and it would be exciting as hell if Masvidal won, especially in Florida, where you know he's going to have a lot of fans. My buddy Jake is one of them. <laughs> uh, also, two other championship fights on the card. Like, it's so, so good to be back. So good to be back. And I'm excited that I'm going to be a, a part of it. It should be a good time. It should. But yeah, John Jones, still light heavyweight champion. And I mean, what else really is there for him to do at light heavyweight? Cute Chalaba was it. His next opponent is Cain Velasquez at heavyweight. So that's what's next for him. But as far as light heavyweight, I'm not sure. Tai Tuivasa is probably next for him at heavyweight after uh, Kane. There you can see. A lot of excitement. I mean, Tuivasa passes Cyril gone. Not sure why. But Tuivasa is definitely next after Kane. Yeah, no idea why. He's already beaten Cyril gone, so why is he in front of him? Yeah. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. Ooh. We could do Cyril Gaon and Tuivasa for that next shot. I think like that sounds like a good idea. He's back in 34 days. When is Gaon back? 20 days? That sounds like a plan. So Velasquez is next, followed by the winner of Tuivasa and Gaon. <clears throat> Love to see it. Johnson moves down to number six. At light heavyweight, I mean Shogun. Kuchalaba down to five. Shogun's back there. He wins two fights in a row. Dominic Reyes. Lost to Junior Dos Santos. How long is he out for? Like five months. Alexander Rockich. Beat Derek Brunson. He's good to go. When is Shogun back? Three months. I mean, there's not really anyone at light heavyweight form right now. So that means that it's good that we have someone waiting for him. Uh, two months until Jones is back, though. 
So it gives us some time at least to figure something out at light heavyweight. Uh, so yeah, light heavyweight's kind of a mess right now. Uh, what about Blahovich and Rockich? 39 days? I'll probably end up doing that. Uzdemir? Six days. Have him face off against somebody. But yeah, lots of things that are possible. Middleweight, we already know it's Paulo Costa. Congrats to him. Oh boy. When is Shogun back? Six months, right? Three months. Middleweight, Costa. Vieira moves up. Lovato down to number eight. Welterweight, no movement. Super lightweight, nothing going on. Lightweight, nothing going on. Featherweight, Hooper and Edgar uh, move up in the rankings. But Edgar, we're going to send back down to WEC. Sorry to say. Sorry, Frankie. All right, Bantamweight, Dominic Cruz still there. Borg down to number seven. Dillashaw over to number 15. Suchol Kim is ranked. You love to see it. Flyweight, nothing going on. Bantamweight, nothing going on. Flyweight, we have a new champion. Della Rosa moves down to number five. Uh, when is she back? 34 days. Jillian Robertson. 48 days. I mean, Agapova is next. Agapova is next. When is Lareda back? Six days. We can do her title fight next month. Agapova. 48 days. So yeah, that works out. We can just do that next month. Awesome. And then Della Rosa Robertson probably after that. Okay, cool. Uh, nothing at straw weight. All right. So the next time I see you guys will be for UFC Fight Night McGregor versus McDonald. That is our final uh, first round matchup for the Super Lightweight Grand Prix. Very exciting stuff. Hope you guys are having a good one. I'm AZ Plow 21. Next pay-per-view, UFC 287 Luke versus Thompson. Another four fight card month. Should be a good one. You guys have a good one as well. I'm AZ Plow 21.